Those sailors didn't stand a chance, right, bro? Easy peasy. But what I want to know now is if that blonde is going to give me a chance. Wake up, gangsta! She already did! Go get her! Watch out. This one is a badass bro. You know what they say, better late than never. Life is unfair, man. I'm the handsome brother, but I'll give this one a break. Cause my heart already has an owner. Check out the love cowboy, dude. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Be careful, boy. You never know what a hot chick can drop in your drink. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a loser by his toe. <laughs> we catch a loser just like that, by their weak spot. And the weakness of this one right here has always been women. What do you want from me? We heard that you're gonna fight with Miguel from Delphine. Well, as you know, we can predict the future. And we're having a vision of an asshole named Cruz with his face on the ground during the second round. Have we made ourselves clear? Joe, you must be delusional. Why would I do that? Because you owe it all to us. Where would you be without the boxing club, huh? And without your old job here at the bar? You know that Riley, I mean Joe is right. Bets will be high and this money will come straight to our pocket. For better or for worse. Your wish is an order, your majesty, no matter what that might cost.
Remember, face on the ground during the second round. <laughs>
Fight! Ah. Break! This doesn't change a goddamn thing. Felipe still has to lose the fight against Delphine, as Joe said. Or the consequences will be a lot worse than the last time. Your coach knows what happens to whoever crosses our path. We will break anything on your heads. Killer! Come on, you fuck. I wanna beat that head of yours into your filthy ass. Lucky we don't have a criminal record. That's for sure. Your brother was even luckier. He was able to hide when the police arrived. Marcus, what was the deal with that talk? Break stuff? Murderer? We better sit to talk. First of all, forget all I said to that biker bastard. Big events prostituted the philosophy of martial arts. They want you to act like that, spitting on your opponent trash-talking to sell tickets. But this is definitely not the way a champion should act. 
That was the kind of thing Ryan would say. Hear this kid's story. Raised by a single mother. Growing up with the challenges of the hood. And because he was a dedicated sportsman, a truthful man, he was respected by both the kids and the local thugs. Just as he was coming to the top, Felipe, wanted to take his family out of their place, I failed him. I let those bums destroy everything. Master, look at me. You did not fail at all. They will pay for what they have done. Are you sure it was those bikers? At the moment, this doesn't matter, because I have no legal evidence against them. But you and your brother lit the boxing fire in me again, Felipe. Fuck the booze and fuck Trey Sorrow. You're gonna fight Miguel D. And after that, straight to the top, kid. You're making me tear up, Master. The fear almost took over me. But you showed me that to have courage is to be afraid and still carry on. Let's honor Ryan's name. You can count on me. Hello? Is this Greasy Jimmy? You can schedule the fight with Delphine. Let them know that our victory will be broadcasted on pay-per-view. This is the most anticipated fight of the year. Felipe Cruz has the legendary Marcus Luce for his coach and showed what he is capable of after winning the Backyard Brawlers Tournament. They are not playing around, ain't that right, Marty? In the other corner, Miguel D represents Delphine Academy, the highest reference in the boxing world. Mainly known for Gabriel Hiberto's social work, such as reinstating ex-convicts in society through martial arts. They have a team of high-profile fighters. Let's go, kid. Show the world what you're made of. Are you ready? Are you ready? So let's get it on!